Dr. Dar, you are the Director General of ICRISAT. Can you tell us about ICRISAT's plans to address climate change? Yes, and let me highlight that the semi-arid tropics are known for erratic weather, so our research focuses on helping farmers to cope with variable rainfall, warm temperature, and poor soils. In the last five years, because of changing climatic patterns, this work has received a new emphasis. What, in your opinion, is the most challenging aspect of climate change? The most serious challenge of climate change is its impact on the livelihoods of thousands of poor farm families who are totally dependent on rent-fed agriculture. These farmers are vulnerable to drought and floods. If this become more frequent, the impacts could inflict damage to global agriculture. So what can Equisat offer to help solve this problem? We face the threat that existing environments may become unsuitable for the cultivation of some crops. So we need to adapt. ICRISAT has developed crops that are tolerant to a warmer world. For example, our super early chickpea varieties escape terminal heat and drought. Our sorghum and millet hybrids can already tolerate very high temperatures. Our watershed interventions help farmers to overcome both water lagging and insufficient rain. But let me introduce our Deputy Director General for Research, Dr. Dave Washington, who can elaborate on this issue. As Dr. Dar said, farming communities need to change the way they're doing things. ICRASAD has developed both short and long-term strategies to help farmers. In the short term, we need to help farmers cope better with the current climate-induced risk. Our research in Africa and Asia, such as enhancing reproductive stage heat tolerance, developing varieties with more vigorous root systems, breeding for adaptation to different ecologies, and conservation agricultural techniques are already helping farmers in exactly this respect. You say that in the short term, we must help farmers cope better with the risks of the current climate. Yes, absolutely. And what do you think the future will bring? Two things are important. First, we must recognize that predicting the precise nature of climate change and its impacts in different parts of the world is very complex. The world is definitely getting warmer, but changes in rainfall are less easy to predict, although we are witnessing more erratic rainfall patterns. Second, as we look to the future, we must rely heavily on available climate-driven models. And is ICRISAT using this approach? Yes, we have made an extensive analysis of the likely impacts of climate change on our mandated crops and have arrived at two important observations. First, the impact of warmer temperatures on the yields under low impact input agricultural practices is likely to be relatively small. And second, adoption of currently recommended crop management practices, even with climate change, would result in substantially higher yields. But are currently available crop varieties well adapted to warmer climates? Have your scientists addressed that aspect as well? Yes, they have. Dr. Dar has mentioned that our crops are already well adapted to high temperatures. And in many instances, the retargeting and redeployment of existing new varieties will go a long ways in mitigating the impacts of global warming. So, does this mean that your current approach to crop breeding can be relied on? For the most part, but one aspect of global warming is almost certainly going to be an increased frequency of days when very high temperatures occur, and these can be very damaging. We need to look more closely at the impacts of these very high temperatures on the growth and the yield of our crops. Dr. Dar, 
May I ask if the analyses that ICRISAT has undertaken has key messages that you would like to summarize? Thank you, and yes, two key messages have emerged from our work. The first is that the adoption of agricultural innovation today will immediately improve the welfare of rural populations and mitigate the impacts of future climate change. The second message is also very important. ICRISAT must embark on an intensive characterization of its existing crop germplasm so that we can advise policymakers on the development of temperature adapted varieties and on their retargeting and redeployment. Dr. Darren, Dr. Hoisington, thank you both very much for your time.